Hi, Doc Mountain here, and I welcome you to my channel. In our video today, we're going to look at exponential equations with the same basis. So now, you may have a question like, what is an exponential equation? So an exponential equation is simply an, an equation with uh, the variable in the exponent, in the, in the, in the exponent. So we have that variable, um, you also have a variable. We have a variable here. So now the question is how do you resolve these, these equations? So let's take a right and see how we can do that. We start with the first one. So now what we need to do in, in the first problem is we have to make sure that this one, which is the whole number, is written in exponent form, in exponential form. Uh, so now since we have the base as a 2 here, we have the exponent as x. In this one it will be written in such a way that it will have the base 2. So here we go, we have 2 raised to the power x is equal to, we have to write this one in such a way that it has 2 as its base. So we have, so that we have the same bases. So now the question is, to what exponent should we raise a 2 so that we have 64? So we can give the choice say 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, that is 32, times 2, 64, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 has to be raised to the power 2 for us to have a 64. So since the bases are the same, then the powers also have to be the same. So we can say x is equal to 6. Therefore, this one, this x here is actually equal to 6. So we have, we have actually solved for x. Alright, let's move on to number 2 and see how we can resolve number 2. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed, I urge you to go ahead and subscribe, like, like, like the video, and make sure you drop a comment in the comment section. Okay, so now with this one, so this one has already been written in this form. We already have the same bases. So assuming that the powers have to be the same, so we can actually equate this power here, say 4x plus 2 is equal to the power that's like x squared minus 3. We can shift all this to the other side of the equation. So what we do is here we add we add the additive inverse of positive 2 which is negative 2. When we do that, we do the same this side. We have we add negative 2. Then this side we have positive 4x, so we have to add negative 4x and what we do this side is what we do the other side minus 4x. So now these are actually additive inverses. When you add negative positive 2 to negative 2, that gives you 0. That one also gives you 0. 0 plus 0, that's a 0. Which is equal to x squared minus 3 minus 2 minus 4x. So what we are going to have is 0 is equal to x squared minus 5 minus 4x. So now what we have is a quadratic equation, but there is a standard format in which a quadratic equation has to be written. And what is that standard, it's a standard equation? Uh, the standard format looks like this. We have to have a, b, that is a squared, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This a denotes a number. That one denotes a number. That one denotes a number. Those are constants. So now if that's how it has to be raised, then we can check here if this one is written that much. So we can have it rewritten, say x squared minus 4x, then minus 5, is equal to zero. 
And remember, our interest is to find the value of x. Now, since we have a quadratic equation, what we need to do is we have to resolve this one. So we can apply three methods, three methods to resolve a quadratic equation. That is completing the square, then solving quadratic equations by the formula, or factorization. Whichever method you feel comfy with, you can apply. But I would rather we apply uh, using the formula. So now that's the one that I'll use here. And how do we solve by using the formula? Say x is equal to negative b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac over t a. So x is equal to in this equation that we have, we can actually when we relate it to the standard format, we say a, we check this side. What's the coefficient? There's a one. What's the coefficient there? We have b, so the coefficient here is negative four, and then c is equal to here that's negative five. Oh, so now we can plug in the values now. So we say, what is b? b is negative 4. So negative minus 4 plus or minus. Then b plus negative 4, so that's negative 4 squared minus 4. What is a? That's 1. And what is c? That's negative over 2 times a that's 1 so now let's work it out so x is equal to negative times negative that's positive so that's 4 plus or minus 4 squared that's negative 4 times negative 4 which gives us positive 16 then we can start by multiplying the signs negative times positive negative times negative that's positive so four times one four times five that's twenty then two times one that's a two let's see if we can solve it from here Okay, so now what we have is x is equal to 4 plus or minus, that is 16 plus 20, that gives us 36 over 2. So x is equal to, we cannot resolve that on the inside here, that is 4 plus or minus. This, the root of 36 is actually 6 over 2. So we are going to have x is equal to 4 plus 6 over 2 or x is equal to 4 minus 6 over 2. So let's go to the end. So we have x which is equal to 10 over 2, x is equal to 3 to 10, that will be a 5, and this side 4 minus 6, that gives us negative 2 over 2. So x is equal to 3 to negative 1, that's negative 1. So the roots of that quadratic equation are 5 and negative 1. Friends, that's how we solve exponential equations. Don't forget to subscribe.